Okay, let's have a look at how we calculate the value of the equilibrium constant given a reversible reaction and the equilibrium concentration of our reactants and products. Now to do this, we need to first of all determine what our equilibrium constant will be equal to. So we write KEQ. Um, some teachers will teach you that that's KC, and that's fine, they're interchangeable. It will always be equal to the concentration of our products over concentration of our reactants. So in this case, we have our products being H2SO4, H2SO4 liquid over concentration of our reactants, SO3 gaseous form times concentration of our water, H2O in gaseous form as well. Now, the important thing at this stage is to remember that we don't take into account liquids and solids because they are at a constant concentration. So in this particular expression, we discount the H2SO4 because it's in a liquid state. So we'll get 1 over SO3 times H2O. And from here, it's a simple matter of substituting our values. So at equilibrium, we have 1 over our SO3 concentration will be 0.4 molar times our concentration of our water. Now it's in gaseous form, so we do need to take that into account. So it's 0 0.480 molar. And if we calculate this, we get 1 over 0 0.192, which will give us 5.21 as our equilibrium constant. And even though this question doesn't say it, an extension of this question would be, in which direction will this, um, or which, which reactions favoured by this particular um, expression? And because the value of 5.21 is greater than 1, we do get um, favouritism in the right-hand direction, but because it's within one order of magnitude of 1, then the reaction, even though it's favoured in the right-hand direction, will be pretty equal across the reaction either left or right.